What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. As you can see, I have a Demolisher shirt on. Why is that? Because we are restoring Demolisher's old Humvee. I uh, picked it up about a week and a half ago from Custom Combat Trucks. We drove it home and we have leaks. So right now it is actually in the diesel shop. It is having some work done to it. I'm having them go over the whole entire motor, transmission, rear end with a fine tooth comb and see if there's anything that needs to be repaired or replaced to it because that is not my expertise. I, uh, I don't know anything about motors. I don't even want to try to mess with it. So I'm gonna let the professionals handle that. And I am gonna do all the restoration myself. So what I want you guys to do is, I want to take you guys along with me. I want you guys to watch this step by step on everything that we are doing to it. And I want to get your input and feedback on what you guys think about it. But first, I want you guys to know that I'm not going crazy overboard with it. I'm not going to go stupid high to where it won't fit in my garage because uh, I am married and my wife thinks it's a big old piece of shit but she don't understand the badassery it is from a guy's point. So from my wife's standpoint, it has to fit in the garage because she doesn't want it in front of the house. But I'm hoping in time that will change her opinion on everything about it. What's up guys, we are back. And uh, just to give you guys a little insight, I'm not used to filming so I tend to, I guess, start doing stuff and then I realized that what I'm doing I'm supposed to be filming or recording uh, for you guys and I so I just get lost in it so uh, bear with me until I get used to doing this kind of stuff because it's not my normality but I uh, do have an update on some parts I have the first set of mods that have been delivered to the house and we are headed there now to hijack them and hide them from the missus so she doesn't know. I don't think she'll be able to tell a difference, but I'm sure she'll watch the video and be like, WTF, but uh, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. She gets to do all her horror stuff anyway, so it's a fair trade. But uh, anyways, that's where we're headed now. I have not heard back from Leadfoot Diesel, who has the Humvee, who is going over to motor work and um, trying to figure out what's going on with it. But they did say it would take a little bit because it's not their, uh, I guess, normal fleet of truck they work on. Uh, even though it's a diesel, it's still a 1989 diesel. So it's not like you have parts just laying around anywhere and everywhere. But um, I guess uh, this weekend I'll have some pretty cool videos because I will be tearing, hopefully I get a truck back by tomorrow but um i will be tearing the truck down if i get it back tomorrow and starting to do the mods and the upgrades to it and i will be recording and filming the whole time so you guys can see everything we're doing and um i really i really would like you guys feedback on this i know i said it a couple times now but uh, you know i do want you guys to be part of it and to see the thing turn into um more more badass than what it already is and uh enjoy it but also what i do want to say um because this is about to be the end of the video uh i if you can go follow me on instagram i don't have any followers because i haven't had social media in three years um so you'll only see see six posts on there but go check me out prodigy lifestyle that's the name of the channel the name of my business is Prodigy Roofing, Prodigy Construction Comp Group. Um, so, Prodigy Lifestyle. That was the name of the uh, channel. But anyways, if you can, go go drop a like, follow me. Um, I'll be posting teaser pics on that. And also, for YouTube, if you can, uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, every time I post a new video, you will see the series of it. But uh, until then, I will see you next time.